Hello everybody, Detective Silverlands here. We have some detectiving to do. In Shadows of Doubt! My word, I absolutely am obsessed with this game. I, I, I love it. I can't, like, go into, like, how much I absolutely love and enjoy the game. It allows you to do so many things, so we're going to be playing it today. I streamed this, oh, the link is down there somewhere? I don't know, press buttons and tap the... Comments. I don't know, but there's a link somewhere. But I streamed this uh, last week. Uh, this will probably come out like next <laughs> next month now. Um, but I streamed this last week, and I had so much fun with it. It was just so well exciting because you get to be a detective, and you get to follow your own leads and all the rest of that jazz. Right. So let's get into it now. And there we go, we finally loaded in. Now, I've cut out the uh, the loading screens because it does take a while and I have purposefully spawned myself inside a house. Why? Because I can. Um, but what is Shadow of Doubt, I hear you say? It is a sandbox detective game where, yes, I know what it looks like. I'm aware of what it looks like, but it is so amazing. Every single... Cre creature? No, every single person that's created by by this game has their own. Oh my word! Look, the Welsh flag. That is surprisingly scary. Um, but um, every single human being. Well, I say human being. Every single person that this game has created has its own. Uh, have their own uh, times that they go to work and they come home and they go shopping and all the rest of that. Meanwhile, in this dystopian land, um, because that's what this city is, it's a dystopian, dystopian uh, world of dystopianness, um, I play a detective. And what does a detective do? He solves crimes! So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're gonna go, we're gonna find ourselves something... We're gonna go and find ourselves something to do. But first I'm gonna save it, because, you know... New save, yes. <laughs> it's the self Oh, uh, I love it. It's first things first, we've got to save it. But yes, we start out in the city. I mean, we can modify the settings, obviously, because it is, as I said, still in early access. So the load screens are quite heavy. But here we are. This is Wales land. We're in the dystopian Wales land of the future. Oh, or the past. Who knows? Anyway, what we need to do is we need to find ourselves something to do. And the time is 9.17. So hello, random, random person. There is a big, a big secret that is about to be revealed by one of these, but we don't know when that's going to happen. So, in the meantime, everything is locked. In the oh, I'm sorry, Pachink. Oh, you've just opened your shop. How very nice. Uh, in the meantime, whilst we're waiting for the super secret thing to happen, what we're going to do is we're going to run around. And we're going to find ourselves a job. What do you mean evening? It's like twenty past nine in the morning. It's not evening at all. We're going to find ourselves a little job to do. And um, I love the fact that there is Wales. Uh, Wales flags everywhere. And I don't know, maybe it's because I've never seen it before. But I'm thinking maybe it's because I've literally put in Wales land. Now this should be City Hall, if I, uh, if I know my buildings. And here we have... Uh, uh, we need lots of hairpins. Hairpins are the lockpicks of the game, and we need, we always need them, because, well, we need to do a lot of lockpicking. Oh, look, a job. Okay, careful investigator wanted. Stolen item. Okay. Let's jump straight in to a side mission, and let's do exactly that. A four five one five three eight. Let's phone this random number and see if we can get paid today. Please help, my name is Alyssa Jackson. I've had a jade necklace stolen from me. Okay. It was taken from my living room. Okay. In last night. Okay, even though, you know, I live at 1702 Allen View. Okay, right. Right. Fair enough. So, we have a new case. We need to go 
to... Oh, and by the way, we also get a murder board. And I love murder boards! Okay, so, our job now is to, waiting for all this to appear, is we need to go to 1702 Allen View, because that's where she lives. We need to figure out, in our own, uh, on our own, who stole the jade necklace. And then, once we find them, we need to go into their home, um, make lots of damage by breaking their windows, apparently, and recover the jade necklace. So this is what the jade necklace looks like. I mean, it's not jade exactly, it's more gold, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go to 1702 Allen View, and let's have a chat with our new client. Because they will give us money, and money is good. Oh, okay, Allen View is this way. We need to go on to the 17th floor. So this is a very large, high-rise building. Uh, this only literally has two inputs. Okay, well... I'm assuming if we run up here and run down here. That we can use the elevator. Don't push me. Strange man. Right, let's go up to the 17th floor. Do, 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 do. Elevator music, yeah. Do, 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 Let's have a chat with our friend, Alyssa Jackson. There we go. Hello, you. Hello. I'm here about the stolen jade necklace. Uh, okay, small person. I'm glad you're here, detective. If you're Piper Owens, you're not the person. And now the door's closed. Jade necklace was taken from my living room. Uh, it must have been taken by somebody I know. No one else would have known about it. Okay. So that immediately points to somebody they work with, maybe? Here to save time, I've written out everything I know that's useful. Okay. Take a look around. Uh, um, can I... Can, can I come in? Thank you. Right, so we need to fi figure out who stole the jade necklace. So, first things first, we need to figure out... They said the living room, I think they said? Um, there's Piper Owen. So that's the other person that lives here. And they have a certain fingerprint style. That's fine. You live there. We don't know where you work. That is also fine. Um, okay, so we've got a fingerprint for uh, Alyssa. And uh, that's about as much as we know about them. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to figure out where was the jade necklace and where was it stolen from. So, to aid us, we have tools. This is our, uh, uh, what's it called? A fingerprint detector. That's the badger. It's a fingerprint detector, but it's also like a boot detector as well. So my job is going to be try and figure out... If we can find anything, any fingerprints or anything like that, which may tell us who the other person is. So, yes, we need to figure out. So I'm assuming it's going to be here, right? Okay. You, oh, fingerprint type C. Hello. Right. Could you? Could you? Could you not, please? Thank you. Fingerprint type C. Hello. We have. We have a new clue. So obviously, could you stop doing that, please? Look. Okay, look, Piper. I need to see what I'm doing. You asked me to investigate. Stop turning off the. Stop turning off the light switch. Okay. Right, so you have an antique vase, a baseball cap, some commemorative baseballs. Piper's 
there it is. There it is. There's another fingerprint type C. Okay, so... Every time, we can make our own connections. So for example, if I go into here now and say, well, we are at 1702. This is who the bad person is who stole the jade necklace. So I can make my own connections between the two to say, well, I could. I, they, they might have changed it. Oh, good, I have an invisible connection. <laughs> oh, like I said. This is an early access, so there are some... I do, unfortunately, have some bugbears with the game. Um, but it's purely because they're still working on it. Um, right, so we have... We now know that a third person with fingerprint type C has, um, has uh, stolen the necklace. So what I need to figure out now is who that belongs to. So I'm gonna be taking a lot of evidence like uh, Piper, for example, works for the Tau Enforcement Division. So that's one lead. We could go to that person's work. Oh, there's a gun there. Don't shoot me, please. Um, uh, you have some money, which I'm not going to steal from you because I'm really nice, even though I could steal them and probably could. Uh, Piper is a captain, and that's when they work. I'm going to put that connection there just because it is helpful to know when they are in work sometimes. Right. Ooh. Um, I shouldn't... I shouldn't steal anything, right? I shouldn't steal... I mean, you did leave me alone, and I am kind of desperate for money. I mean, I only have, like, 99 monies, and you've got money in your house, and you're just letting me ransack your entire house. So, Alyssa was the person who, um... who posted the job. So, hi. I'm just gonna, like... like, like, just, just... Ooh. A hairpin. Another lockpick, thank you. Um, Alyssa was the person who posted the job. So let's find out a bit more about her. So all of these are just a lot more information. So we've got an employee contract, which I'm going to pin because the employee contract should tell us that Alyssa is with Overstreet Parlor. So that's where they work. And we've already got the work ID for Piper, so we don't need to worry about that. So with those two things in mind, so with those two things in mind, now we know where they both work. We have enough information. Don't worry about the fact. She's just, I mean, I just woke her up, even though it's like three o'clock in the morning, uh, like nine o'clock in the morning. With those two things in mind, now we have the Tau Enforcement Division. And now we also have the Overstreet Street Parlor, both of which we need to investigate to find out who the fingerprint for fingerprint type C belongs to. So they said that somebody they know um, should have um, elevated. Somebody that they know would have stolen it. That makes sense. And the only people that um, I mean. I would suspect that it comes from the workplace. I've, I've done like missions like this before where it's almost always from the workplace. So we will see. We will see. We will see. Um, okay, so where should we go first? If we go to Alicia's one uh, first, because she's the one who posted the job. So we're going to go to the fast food restaurant, the parlor. And oh, good, it's raining. Uh, yes, your character can get wet, and then they slip and fall on the floor. Hello. Hello. How, how is everybody? Hello. Aha, there's more There's more jobs. You can take as many jobs as you want. And the jobs do vary, which I absolutely love. Don't worry about the fact that that's clipping into the world. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, there are so many different types of jobs, including... Um, oh, good. Right, whilst we've been doing this, somebody's been murdered. Right, this was the super secret special thing that can occur at random intervals, is that somebody can get murdered. Great, that was very helpful and very quick. First things first, let's resolve this case before we look at the murder. Um, I'm a health inspector. Look at how, look at how inspectory I look and healthy. 
Right, I'm still gonna need a pass. That's fine. Can I buy a pass off you for 30, 30 monies? Okay, so now we've got a guest pass. A guest pass basically means you can run around the property um, for as long as I want. Now this door does have a keypad, but it's green, which means it's open. Are you okay? Right, the reason I'm coming in here is because... Is something going to explode? Anyway, it's because... It genuinely sounds like something's about to explode. Employee details. This is what we want. Okay. So, Elia Ambrose has type D um, fingerprints, so we don't want that. Every single employee... Every single employee... Oh, wait, hang on. Every single employee has to, by law... Um, give them... Give, give all of their information. Okay, hang on. Uh, hang on, right. Hang on, I've broken it. It's fine, don't worry about it. There we go. Stick it to the right job. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just very quickly scanning through these... There it is. Type C, Carl Bennett. We found the stealer. The man who stole things. Okay, so what else do we know about Carl? Uh, other than the fact that we just know that he stole it. I don't know what what's currently burning or on fire, but... Oh, it's the kettle. Oh, okay. Can I just... There we go. Right, let's just... Let's just... Let's just, you know, put down there. Go, oh, God. Hang on, hang on. I got this. Don't, don't worry. That, that, perfect. Per Why is that an illegal action? I just moved something because it was burning. Uh, yeah, I get, I get. It. There, are, there are occasionally illegal actions. My face is currently hiding the uh, potential fines I might get. Anyway, right. We figured out that C belongs to Carl Bennett. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where Carl Bennett lives. Because I reckon... Ooh, we have two Carl Bennett's. Because I reckon... B-E-N-N-E-T-T. -T, yeah, we've got two of them. Ooh, I've never had two people before. There we go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to each property and try and figure out... Try and figure out... Which Carl has got has stolen the jade necklace? Because if we go into their home, that's where that's where most people would have kept their stolen goods, I reckon. Oh good, I'm wet now. There is a potential that if you are wet in this game and you run around the place, you will just slip and fall on your bum. Which is hilarious to me. Okay, second floor. Right, we're just gonna we're just gonna run up. Because we're incredibly we're incredibly uh stamina -y. Okay, so this, right, check under the doormat, right, there's no key there, okay, we're gonna have to be a bit naughty, gonna wait for everyone to leave, and be a bit naughty, and start lockpicking, pop, picking, pocking, lockpocking, there we go, I lockpocked, okay, now car should be in work, so we're gonna just kind of break into his house only a little bit, uh, we need to find the jade necklace. So, okay. Carl should... Oh, no. Carl might actually be here. Because his work rotor said 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so it could be in there. What I need to do, though, is I need to establish, is this the right Carl? So let's do a quick scan for fingerprints. Yes, but is it our Carl Bennett? I think it might be, you know. It does confirm it as Carl Bennett, but I don't know if it's my Carl Bennett or not. You know what I mean. Shush. Right, we need to find where this jade necklace might be. Ooh, a paperclip. Still out. That gives me another lockpick. Okay, we need to find. Let's search his bins. Nope, nothing in the bins. Okay, nothing in the drawer. Okay, he's not here. Right, that's good news. That's good news. That's very good news. 
Hello. Remember the passcode this time? Count up from one. Okay, we'll, we'll pin that because I am really bad at remembering anything. Oh, I borrow his key. I mean, I, I mean, it's, 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 you know, shh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Right, we do need, we do need to figure out where this jade necklace is. That's the big thing, is we need to find it. Oh, look, some money that, uh, ooh, um, that Carl lost? Shh, it's fine. Right, uh, what's that? Shopping list. Okay. Okay, there is food. There are weirdly, there are, um, some weird, um, <laughs> I love the fact that the fire extinguisher is peeking out the top. There are, um... There are uh, eating and drinking mechanics in this as well, so um, your character will get hungry, thirsty um, over time. So I spend a lot of my time just like investigating areas and then in between like my downtime, in between like cases, I just ended up like going to the bar, having a few drinks in there and then also, you know, Having a few drinks, going home, being sick, having a shower, you know, exactly what I would do in life. Right, what did this passcode say? Count up from one. So one, two, three, four. Wow. <gasps> we found it. We've now got the jade necklace. Fantastic. Don't worry about the new murder case. Don't worry about that. We found it. We actually found it. So we click on the resolve. This will tell us then recover my jade necklace. And this is what we need to do to resolve this case. Um, okay, so that we can do. Who stole my jade necklace? Well, we know it's Carl Bennett, which I can't select for reasons. Um, okay, there we go, right. Let's make a Carl Bennett, just so that we can select him. There he is. Carl did it. Now, I need to cause 700 monies worth of vandalism in the home of the perp by breaking windows. Now, the last time I tried this, it didn't work for me because he didn't have enough windows. However, now that I've got a knife, let's do it. Um... Can I... Hang on, hang on, I can do this. There we go. Break the windows, break the windows. Oh no! Am I okay? I didn't know you could fall out of windows! <laughs> oh my word. Oh... My word, I'm just the biggest idiot that there ever was. Okay, let's go back to... <laughs> what did you do, Mr. Detective? Well, I broke one of his windows, and then I may or may not have accidentally myself out of the window whilst trying to break it. Shh, it's fine, it's fine. But this time I've got the key, so I can... Carl's in here. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Carl is actually here now. Right, okay. It's fine. Hi, Carl. Hmm. This is going to cause a complication. I'm not here, Carl. It's not me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Go to sleep, Carl. Go to sleep. I'm just gonna break your window. Shh! Stealthy! Stealthy! Stop messing with the counter, okay. Right. Break the windows and run! 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 Break all of his windows! It's, no, I don't care! You wanna fight me, Carl? I'll fight you with my knife! I, I'm not gonna fight you with my knife, Carl. I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Run! Right, let's drop the knife, just in case. Run! Let's just run! 
<laughs> oh, we're just running. We're just gonna run. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. We're gonna run. It's perfectly fine. I'm being pursued. I've caused 500 damage. Not enough, it looks like. There we go. Not enough damage, unfortunately. I don't know why I didn't cause enough damage. Probably because... Um, probably because... I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I, uh, or how I didn't um, cause enough damage, but never mind, it's fine. We did it! We've actually completed our first mission. So we're gonna go back to the apartments and we're gonna uh, place it in the mailbox for 1702. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're never gonna get the optional, but that's fine. Okay, so we need... Is there a way I can figure out Oh, is this the wrong side? Aha! There we go. 104. What was it? 17, wasn't it? 15. What did I need? 1702. So, open. And then go into my inventory, get the jade necklace. And drop it there. Close that. <gasps> I did it. Now I just need to call them. Right. So what we are going to do, if I can bring up my map, uh, I'm pressing all the buttons. Okay, I want to bring up my map because I want to find out. Okay, so if I just come over here, there we go. There's a reason why I'm going to go that way. It's because we need to figure out... The murderer. Lem. Okay. Right, let's go over here. Let's ring them. Let's hand it in. Like good detectives. Give them a quick call. Uh, I need to call. Wait. Did I not? Yeah, Carl Bennett. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, eight, four, five, one, five, three, eight. Case submitting for processing. Please wait for a result. Thank you, Detective. Great something. We'll get back to you with your reward. Yeah, two out of three. Not bad. Not bad. And we got a sync disc. So a sync disc is essentially um, the power-ups in this game. You can go and get these installed. They're like cyber disc type things. There we go. We did it. And I got some social credit. Social credit is essentially... I want to see it's the game's leveling system. It's not really. Um, but once we reach level 8, then um, I can officially retire to the fields. Right. Now then, how are we doing for time? Oh, do you know what? Let's grab one of these. Because we need one. And we need to start. Because this one is now done, we can officially close that case. Because it is now done. But now, we have a murder to investigate. I'm going to grab some handcuffs. Because you never know. Handcuffs are very, very helpful in this game. We need to go to 401 Kirikukukuku uh, Terrace and investigate the murder. But we're going to be saving that for the next video. Uh, in the meantime, though, what I am going to be doing is we're going to go and install, or at least have a look at what this disc is. If I can figure out... Where a sync disc people are. There's one. Um, is it this way? Yes. Yes, we're gonna go. We're gonna see what this sync disc contains. And then we'll do the murder investigation in the next video. Okay, so let's have a look at what this is. I know, I know. Meanwhile, there's murder on the loose. And Silverlands is just like, yeah, it's fine. Gain £10 for trying addresses... Informa for tying addresses, information to client names, or gain 25 monies for gathering citizen passcodes. 
you know what? The passcodes. Absolutely. Because a lot of this game involves breaking into people's safes and computers and stuff like that. So let's get that installed. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to save it. Mr. Silverlands. And that's it. And we're going to be leaving our episode there. Oh yes, that's right. We're going to be uh, we're going to be picking up the big murder in the next video. As I say, this game is in early access, so there are certain things like certain like side missions which are, in my opinion, completely uncompletable um, because there are certain like side missions that that you get a random bits of information about. Let's say. You know, um, I don't know. You need to identify a client, and it only gives you um, the fingerprints, the blood type, and the handwriting. And it's like you don't know anything else about that particular client. Those really frustrate me because it's like just give me a little bit more, like the first initial or where they work or something along those lines. But like I said, it is in early access. It is being worked on currently. They're releasing uh, content updates consistently on this and yeah i absolutely love it. so anyway thank you everybody so very much for watching please join me in the next episode when i shall be investigating the bloody murder and until then bye bye